All right, so in this video, I just want to cover cost reduction. So if you haven't seen it, I built a vapor blaster by dumping $1,300 into my existing cabinet. So that $1,300 does not include the cost of the cabinet. Now this cabinet I bought used for $100. It's a Harbor Freight. Brand new, it's $180. So if you don't own one, I would recommend finding a used one on Craigslist or whatever because you're going to be hacking it up. No sense of buying a new one and cutting it all up, right? So just find one used. They're all over Craigslist. Second thing, that does not include compressor cost. A couple guys asked, and no, compressor is a total different ball game, and that's an additional expense. And I also mentioned that you can cost reduce just the $1,300 plans as you see here. For example, all the brass fittings that I used totaled probably 300 bucks or so. To give you one example, uh, the bulkhead and the fittings to poke the slurry hose through the cabinet, there's five pieces here, it totals 70 bucks. Here's the same in plastic, three parts, $7, okay? So it's three fittings, plastic will work just fine. This is a low pressure deal right here. It's not gonna break. You can also apply the same for some of the air components. But again, these are rated to 125 PSI, so I, I feel they would work. I haven't tried it myself, but I can't imagine it not working. Okay, another thing I wanna talk about in this video is this thing has a lot of features. Okay, what if we were to strip out all the features and go to a bare bones setup just to make it purely functional and blast parts? So you don't need the wiper, you don't need the window rinse, you don't need the control box, and you don't need the foot pedal. Okay, if you take all that stuff out, and including the fresh rinse, if you take all that stuff out, you can get the cost down to about 550, you know, if without the cabinet. Okay, so let's go through those features and see what would happen if you took them out. Obviously, if you take out the wiper and the fresh rinse, the window is gonna get dirty. Visibility is gonna, may be an issue. So what you can do is you can apply Rain-X to the glass. You can use the rubber glove to wipe the glass every now and then so you can see again. Also, uh, what I do every once in a while is you can take the gun and you can aim it and flick it at the window and it'll spray some water actually slurry on the window but at least it'll clean it somewhat so you could see again okay as far as the fresh rinse you can just simply take the part out and rinse it in a bucket next to the machine now the control box if you eliminate that you're simply going to be manually turning on a bunch of devices okay you got to turn the pump on and you'll have to turn on the air no big deal i like the automation of all this it's sweet uh, down here, if you got rid of the regulator, you don't necessarily need it on the machine. If you have one in your shop somewhere, you can just use that, and you don't have to add the cost of this. This is, you know, I think a $60 regulator or so, so you don't really need that. Also, you don't need the foot pedal. This is a $100 foot pedal, all the lines and fittings. I mean, that's a $200 setup just to get the foot pedal going. What you could do is just hook up your air directly to here and just have a ball valve. Okay, it's not like when you turn the air on, the thing ain't whipping around or anything like that. So you could simply put one hand in, put your hand on the gun, and then come over here and flip the ball valve on, and that would turn on your air. Now, if you're going to do that, you're going to need a check valve, which I put in here just to test. You will need a check valve because otherwise the slurry, if you have the slurry on and the air off, the slurry will back travel through the air line. So you don't want that to happen, so you need a check valve to prevent that. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a spreadsheet for the $550 bare bone version. And what I'll do is I'll upload this to my plans, which are available for purchase here. Now, that's the only change to the plans as of now. I still have the PDF for the $1,300 version and now this $550 version. The three hour video covers how to build what you see here. I'm not going to create another video on how to make a bare bones version. You simply just skip the sections that we discussed and just don't put the stuff on that costs money, if that's a concern to you. Also keep in mind, if you build this thing on a budget, you know, the bare bones, and you go, you know what, it'd be really nice to have a wiper or a fresh rinse or whatever, you can also 
you can add those features later. It's not like you have to do it right away. I would just recommend getting this thing going, play with it a little bit, see if you like even blasting parts and you're getting the results you want, and then add the, the nice to have features. Okay, keep in mind that if you even if you're not into blasting at all and you get a Harbor Freight cabinet, you are not done spending money. If you get the cabinet, there's all sorts of issues with it. The pickup tube sucks, the gun kind of sucks, the lighting sucks, and there's no dust management. So you have to spend another $200, $300 to improve the cabinet. Okay, you have to do a bunch of modifications or you simply buy modified parts that are on the market. And at that point, you might as well go and build a wet blast cabinet, to be honest with you. So in my opinion, you can be vapor blasting just for a little bit more money over a Harbor Freight dry blast. Because remember, with the dust management, you need a dust deputy, a shop vac, and so forth. Okay, also in this cost list, I have 50 bucks for the gloves. These are seamless gloves. The gloves that come with the Harbor Freight cabinet, you know, they're stitched and mine were poking holes through already. So you're gonna get water on your hands. So I got, I got 50 bucks in here for gloves. Also the LED light is 40 bucks. You can certainly find a $20 light and accomplish the same thing. That's just the parts I chose. So there's even a little more wiggle room in here to cut the cost, but basically, that's as cheap as it's gonna get. Most of the cost is in the pump and the pit system that you see down there. That's where a lot of the money goes, right in there. And really, you can't really substitute that out. That thing works extremely well and is reliable, so just run with what's in there. Okay, that's it for this quick video. Again, the plans, there'll be a link here. I'll throw some iCards for the several videos I have already out on this. Uh, you know, the original video and some videos of me blasting parts and stuff. So um, let me know what you think. Comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see other videos on this video.